Hello, everypony. I am Venomous Pie. You guys know me so well as the Pinkie Pie of the group. And as you can see, I'm a little crazy at the moment. Uh, <laughs> what? Welcome to Everyone back away slowly. Welcome what to another new? episode of Brony Maniac Discuss. And uh, I have with me here today the Mod Pie, which is Little Looney. Greetings, everypony. Where's the pie? Uh, we, we have our Stalic Lemon, which is Neon Blade. Hello everyone, and, you know, if it wouldn't be in a norm around here, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> uh, our Sunset Shimmer, which is Crimson. Who is apparently muted at the moment, but, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> he's here, we promise you. GG. <laughs> Wait, we have our Trixie, which is David. Um, what, what am I doing here again? <laughs> oh, right, the episode! Uh, we have our Twilight, which is Shopwit. I probably should back away slowly from our Pinkie Pie of the group, but seeing <laughs> the craziness going in Secret Rift, I'm not very back amused. Away, I'm by like that. really, really <laughs> far, far away. Our Rainbow Dash. <laughs> We have our Rainbow Dash, which is Kanata. Is this a bad time to say that for muffins over pies? <laughs> Baby. I did not Do hear you that. want to dig your own grave, dude? <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. This podcast is over. <laughs> no, this podcast been over. Well, I'm going to be hiding in my started. shelter. <laughs> and, and we also have our Fluttershy, which is Vile Bloom. Don't mind me, I'll just be hiding in the bunker in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, we do have a Spike, which is Elite Yoshi, in the call with us, but he is AFK at the moment. <laughs> and uh, and yep, but nonetheless, the episode we'll be talking about today is Secrets and Pies. A... Interesting premise, to say the least. Interesting title. <laughs> Interesting to not not to say pietastic. Oh god! Oh. Here comes the pie pun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this episode was pyrific. So you know, so you know the deal. We uh, go, we go in a random order for one thing we do like about the episode. Then we'll be going in reverse for what we don't like, and then we'll be give our final thoughts. <laughs> so, up first shall be... You know what, Kanata? I'll be a good sport here. Why don't you start us off? Okay. My positive for this episode is Pinkie Pie's fantasy of what Nightmare Dash did to the pies. <laughs> I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree that that was probably the best part of th of this episode. Oh yep. I was. I, I, I was needless going. to say, needless to say, that was actually the 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 best portrayal of almost every Edge Lord OC we know about. <laughs> and and I'm really impressive how she was ditching one of the pies. <laughs> like, oh yeah, about that. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you were gonna say something, Venom. I heard that you were gonna say something before Neon says something. I was only gonna say that that woman had me on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love Nightmare Dash's design in the fantasies as well. Oh, oh, oh I thought it looked terrible, but I cut us some slack for two reasons. One, it I was think it was meant to look terrible. Yeah, it was done. Uh, yeah, exactly. It was done. It, it was done intentionally. And look, it's Pinkie Pie we're talking about. She is known to over exaggerate on some things. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, it was bad, but I still enjoyed Nightmare Dash's design nonetheless. I would love to see an entire episode dedicated to one of Pinkie Pie's fantasy. I think that would be an amazing episode. Oh dear God, no! That would be the worst acid trip I have been in my life. Then. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 would be, 
Yeah. You know, that should be episode, that should be enough, that should be safe for episode number 200. Writers, if you are, writers, if you are listening to this, make this episode number 200, a Pinkie Pie <laughs> fantasy episode. Oh. Yeah. Not to mention that actually the uh, third uh, main character in the, uh, the whole franchise that he is shown to kind of sort of uh, having the uh, dark side, mm. because we have mm. the uh, Midnight Sparkle, we have Nightmare Rarity from comic, and now we have the uh, fantasy Edge Lord Rainbow Dash Dark. <laughs> yeah, sure. AKA Nightmare Dash. <laughs> to, be that, honest, to be honest, it's that was created from Pinkie Pie, our special. Love oh, and also we have the uh, Nightmare Moon and Daybreaker, but that's the uh, secondary yeah. cast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, funny that you actually call them secondary cast. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure, they're not the sure main characters after all. <laughs> anyway, I was I was gonna say okay, an, an entire episode with Bob and Pinkie Pie's uh, fantasies. Well, can't get well, can't get any worse than the time that she took over Discord dimension. No oh, boy. <laughs> now that's the true Discord princess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, don't let, don't let KP that, her, that from you. <laughs> she might kill her. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Anyways, let's get back on topic here. So, I, 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 also, I also love the laser eyes that Nightmare Dash had. That was, that was a nice touch as well. Yeah, it was. Indeed. There's something only You got the touch! You got the power! <laughs> Nice. Oh, you got the Yep. Yep. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have to say for my positives. All right then. All right. So who do you pass it off to? Uh, I'll pass it off to chocolate. Thank you. Take it away. Yeah, because I'm gonna cheat. Uh, but yeah, what I like about this episode is that this. It's just, it's the uh, continuity from the uh, party of one, the uh, whole the, uh, detective Pinkie Pie, and the actual fact that she actually took the lesson from the uh, oh, phew, no phew, uh, what I said, uh, not party of one, the mystery in friendship express. I was about to say that, man, dude, make your homework. <laughs> Come on, it's pretty much this episode is pretty much party of one, almost. <laughs> so it's kind of not hard to, mi- to mix them. <laughs> Okay, I'm hashtag good. broken shop. <laughs> okay, but, but to be fair, let's let's face it. This episode is actually also kind of continuity from Party of One to Pinky not drawing conclusion right away, and as well as the uh, Mystery Friendship Express uh, to actually do the right the uh, detective work. Yeah, I true. I do agree on that, but I'm actually will come back to my negative. I mean, back to that actually. On my but, yeah, let's, come on. Let's. Ma- I made a mistake, but accidentally actually made a point of con yeah. of uh, do a, of continuity and Pinky taking learning this the lesson from both of those episodes. Yep. Yes, she went a little bit crazy, but first she was actually trying to check out instead of drawing conclusions right away without ev- any evidences. Mm-hmm. And even if she was doing, uh, she was going crazy, she was still trying to gain the evidence. The Solid proof that Dash was actually not eating pies. <laughs> she, she got... Yeah, but in that case, in that case, it was it was not crazy. I would say it was more like um, paranoid, more frustration yeah. mixed with paranoia. paranoia. Yeah, frustration mixed with paranoia, which is really rare for Pinky. Mm-hmm. It is actually. That's kind of a first that we see that. I mean, it's been a while since we've seen Pinky Pie actually frustrated. That's yep. true. Isn't that she is always true. bun? Isn't she always full of smiles most of the times? Exactly. There was that one time when uh, Applejack made her snap. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am oh, bringing yeah. that up. Oh God. <laughs> mm, or that episode. I don't know the uh, the one where Pinkie Pie knows also counts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Almost forgot about that. That was actually one of of my personal. Um, Pinkie Pie episodes so far. Yep. Looney, go right ahead. Yeah, my favorite part of this episode was definitely the comedy. And of course, the highlight was definitely when Pinkie Pie imagined uh, Nightmare of Rainbow Dash shooting lasers and all the pies. That was freaking hilarious. 
I'm the fire miser! I like seeing what good the golden side of Pinky's mind because it's a scary, funny place. <laughs> funny or more questionable? <laughs> At least in my opinion. <laughs> sometimes funny, sometimes scary, sometimes what? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> so basically, Looney was like, what the what? <laughs> how to how to crowd another YouTuber? Like, what? It, it, fits so much within, <laughs> it fits so much within Pinkie Pie's character to conjure up something just so random and nonsensical. John, <laughs> I was all like, what? We're talking about Pinkie Pie here. Come on. <laughs> Good point, actually. Your whippersnapper. Uh, like I said, I've only thought all the comedy in this episode was really good. Like all the uh, creative ways Rainbow disposed of the pies. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Gummy somehow distracted Pinkie Pie. Yama Jack getting stuck in the forty cave. Uh, <laughs> Rainbow Dash trying to find Pinkie in bed. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> oh, actually a good yeah. point. Apple Jack's <laughs> point to that. Like I, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I love <laughs> I love Apple Jack in this episode. Oh my god. <laughs> And apparently we remember that so many knows... funny moments. It's hard to pick. Uh. And apparently we remember that knows chaos control from Sonic. <laughs> How? You know Wait, what? Really? Maybe maybe Rainbow Dash is related to Sonic. Oh dear God! No. <laughs> oh, there have no. been. There... <laughs> I kid you not. There have been ships between those two. I, I believe I it. I do know that. That's why I'm reacting like this. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention that Pinky is almost the equivalent of of, uh, of 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 Amy in one way or another. Oh gosh, uh. implications. <laughs> Congratulations, think, we broke Neon. Especially if you think about that, when Pinky is Amy and Rainbow Dash is the closest to Sonic, like, um, do I have to get, do I have to continue with this point? <laughs> I ate. Nope, 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 nope. So much nope. So much nope. <laughs> so much nope indeed. What have I done? <laughs> someone, someone draw, someone draw Pinkie Pie with the Pika Hammer. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I don't you know. Do I think it's, that's that happened at some point. Maybe. If it hasn't, oh. then yeah. Right, Note um, to self, never get, never, never give Pinky any kind of a hammer or anything. Hey, <laughs> that's really not... Not... <laughs> Anyway, anyways, guys, um, anything else you want to say, Looney? Yeah, that's all. I just wanted to uh, say I really love the company this episode. It was really hilarious. Dear Lord. Say, <laughs> <laughs> I pass it off to Violet. Okay, so what I like about this episode actually you kind of took my point with the comedy there, Looney. <laughs> Sorry. How, how could you, Looney? I can expand <laughs> on it, actually. <laughs> yeah, the comedy really got me in this episode. Looney said about how Pinkie Pie's imagination and also the fact of the craziness. I had to say... <laughs> With the comedy aspect, I actually, I actually find it funny, yet it, okay, back away slowly when, uh, the pie scene, with the disgusting pie. Uh, oh, God, I'm sick. Uh, uh, that's sick to my like stomach. <laughs> Her heart was in the right place, but uh, yeah, God, Rainbow, what cooking the heck skills are you doing? not so much. Yeah. Even Twilight. When I, when even... I saw that, I'm like, eh, yeah, funny Rainbow Dash. You're really go you're really going to full Pinkie Pie in this. <laughs> yeah. But when she's actually do going to eat it, I'm like, no, she's actually doing it. She's actually doing it. She's not joking. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like rarely it's like a rarely tasted that mud pie that Spike made in Spike your service. Just ugh. This is worse than that, in my Way opinion. Worse. Yeah, if I, I may I, say, I, I would rather <laughs> I would rather face the elders' abomination, even Cthulhu, instead of go close to that pie. <laughs> oh, that's that's oh, a wow. promise. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, um, anything else you want to say about it? Pretty much it. <laughs> uh, who do you pass it off to? Yeah, you're up. Alright, let me slide in real quick. Um, positive for the episode. Um, hmm, to be honest, it's really hard to find for me a, a positive in the episode. The episode itself wasn't and bad and by any means, but for me having a real highlight? Uh, I don't know. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, think it's, it's, actually, my it's actually tricking me right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... <laughs> God damn it, it caught me off guard now, shoot! <laughs> when no I always fail, just rely on that sound. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Even though I kinda, I kinda stole that from Sharpie here. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Right? Right, right Chaka? <laughs> Alright, have you come up with anything, Neon? Uh... Sadly, no. To be honest, the comedy was actually the only biggest positive for me in that episode. Hmm. Alright, you can just say that. Well, I guess I have to jump on that bandwagon then. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I have to admit, the, com the comedy itself was pretty. It was good. Don't get me wrong, but I will come back to that for my negative as well. Mm. So I might as well get um, pass it on. Alright. Um... Let's see... Uh... Hang on, uh... Elite wanted to go last, right? Yes. Okay, just to remind myself. In that case... Well, you're up then, Ben. I'm up? Okay, uh... <laughs> 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 what, I, what I like about this episode... Is is Pinky by herself? Like she, but mm. mostly can uh, not ask him for trouble, which otherwise would have been just okay. Pinkie Pie really carried this episode for me. I mean, a lot of the comedy in the episode, like you guys pointed out, stems from Pinky. Mm -hmm. And like someone, one of us pointed out, I think it was Sharpie who pointed it out. I love the fact that she kind of took the lessons she learned from Mystery and Offensive Express and. Not jump to any conclusions and actually did a proper investigation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The outcome of the investigation was a bit silly, but it, it's Pinkie Pie. I don't. I wouldn't question that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and I and I really love all the animation on Pinkie as well, especially that moment where she's refusing to blank. Oh, that was her face. Beautiful. Her face that is was, in this episode. Really good oh, animation. Gosh. Oh I, I have to agree on that one, Ben. That's actually pre yeah. that's actually pretty well think, made in that I episode. Think that was really good. <laughs> Extremely well made. And by the way, I I haven't seen Pinkie Pie's made that mess that dirty since uh, the main attraction. If you think about it. Mhm. Mm looks like she's gonna need some. Looks like she's gonna need that shampoo that she um encountered a few episodes ago. <laughs> yeah, like two bottles of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although. Wasn't it? I'm actually thinking about. Wasn't there another episode where her main was kind of messed up like that? Yeah, the main attraction. Was it that? Yeah, but yeah it was yes. the main attraction. Yeah. Who was that one? Ben yeah. didn't mention that. Do I mix up episodes right now? Could be. Most likely. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways. Oh, that could be the case, well then. <laughs> so anyways, that's my biggest positive for the episode. I really enjoyed Pinkie Pie in this episode. <laughs> Best pony. <clears throat> Bias. <laughs> you know the pink pony. <laughs> it's funny way to say Starlight. <laughs> I agree on that one. <laughs> Oh, hey, what's wrong? Hey, what's wrong with having Pinkie Pie's best pony? <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all I have to say. Pinkie Pie herself really cares this episode for me. So I'll pass it off to. Let's see who hasn't gone yet. 
And Yoshi wants to go last. So Clinton, I think it's either Clinton or Try Try Sparkle. Those are the only two that haven't gone. I believe. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, I'll pass it off to David. Okay, thank you, Venom. Um, yeah, I just want to say hello to everybody first of all. Um, but yeah, uh, the positive for this episode. Oh my God. I know everybody mentioned the comedy, which was really at the top, but, um, you know, Pinkie Pie too. Okay. But I think my thing was the Applejack section of the episode. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, she just comes in when you hear Pinkie Pie screaming and she's like, Oh, party planning cave. Right. Oh. <laughs> And oh my gosh, like, David, I love Applejack in this episode. Yeah. Uh, yep. You know, true, I true. was like, it was like, I wasn't even expecting Applejack to be in this episode at all. You know, she just showed up, I was like, whoa, okay, AJ, all right. I'm gonna and point, she just, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to point out my favorite, my favorite section with Applejack was towards the ending where Pinkie Pie says to Rainbow, well, next time you can just be honest with me. And Applejack just well went, um, I could have told her that. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you, Venom. Thank you. Oh, my God. Dry comedy oh. is always the best comedy. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yep. I, think, I think this whole episode had everything that I expected from a Pinky Rainbow Dash episode, right? Indeed. And just throwing in that little... The, Icing on the cake. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. No pun intended. No pun intended on that. Um, yeah, the cake chose a period anyway. Yeah, yeah Pinky yeah. did eventually give Rainbow Dash a chocolate cake. More mm-hmm. on that later. Ah, yeah, good pun. But, yeah, that was my positive, uh, was the Applejack part. So, uh, Crimson? Crimson, you're up. Okay, let's see. Well, like I stated in our pre-show talk, Rainbow Dash tossing one of the pies away to avoid from eating it. I I understand that wasn't a good reason of her doing that, but I'm sure she had a good reason. Hmm. Hmm. She could have just shared it with, with the Wonder Bolts. Yeah, no, she could have done I that. Because... About those, uh, I thought about those Phillies. They had tummy aches. Like maybe... She could have easily given it to Sawin. Like maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe have it so she tried to give the pie to the Wonder Bolts, but they declined the offer, so she had to, she had to put it somewhere. I was actually thinking about that and um, that uh, Rainbush maybe gets some problem with when she's eating so many pies. I mean, she does have to look, um, look for a f- uh, about um, from um, from her figure. After all, if she is in a, in a military group like that, we'll get to that. But um, <coughs> continue, Crimson. I still find it a bit funny, hilarious. Like whenever I when she fakes. Pinky for looking the other way, like psych. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, those were re- really creative ways to get rid of those pies. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, that happens. Inclu- and then Inclu- passing up, including the fact that I'm pretty sure this is the world record for the slowest blink ever. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, actually. Again, Either that or yeah. Pink or Rainbow Dash is a flash. <laughs> Did you see how uh, that that bird was flying so slow? Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, she's a flash. <laughs> the from flash. So- from Sonic to Flash. Oh, well then, this <laughs> DC. Well, I think <laughs> only Flash could break the could run so fast he could break the uh, time and uh, space continuum and go back in time. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention he created a whole new universe. Hey, shh, don't tell Starlight about that. Good point. <laughs> oh, she learned her lesson. Anyways, uh, would that be all, Crimson? 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 I'm dead. Yeah, that'll be all, and I 
don't have any negatives, so just bypass ones. Alright, alright, um, all right. go ahead, Yoshi. You're the last one up. Mm -hmm. uh, not there. Huh, so, so, what have we covered so far for pauses? I'm, I'm taking the comedy, the, the facial expressions, what else? Uh, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie, I think, I think, uh, Pinkie Pie, detective work. Pinkie Pie herself as a character. And Continuity. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's one thing that I liked, was all those pies. <laughs> Okay. okay. No, I mean really. I actually, I know all I know is is that when I saw that rainbow pie, I wanted to actually try to make it. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like it, it actually looks like it would be so delicious if you actually tried it. Yeah. Oh, you know, I agree. Be a recipe. I don't. I, I don't know. I think those seventy-two, those seventy-two ingredients that Pinkie Pie like put in. I don't know. It's putting a 72, 72 ingredients in a pie. I don't 23. think it would come off that great. I could be wrong. Ikonata. So, yeah, sorry, 73, sorry. Well, Jeez, enough. that's a lot of chemicals then. I know, right? <laughs> right. We'll have a fat rainbow dash. <laughs> <laughs> the rainbow oh, pie? What about all oh, the other pies? Oh, Jesus, now you now you put it in an image of my head. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, th yeah, thanks for that, guys. I'm still, I'm still thinking. I'm still try scratching my head on how Rarity didn't get so fat after all the ice cream she's been eating. That is a legitimate <laughs> good point, actually. Um, <laughs> it's me. Mm, magic good. ice creams? Magic ice creams? Maybe she, maybe she worked <laughs> so hard that... Is... Hmm? Go, go on, Violet. Thank What? Baking Society in my university, and one of their baking sessions is going to be baking a lemon meringue pie. Yum. Okay. <laughs> in, that in that case, you, you have to get us some pictures or anything. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> to be fair, I think I saw some of those pies made by the contestant in MasterChef. I, I swear I, sh I saw a rainbow, uh, like a rainbow colored cake recipe on Twitter once as well, but... Yeah, I, I, I even tweeted that picture to Lightning Bliss. What? So it was you, I, I, I was pretty sure it was from one of us. <coughs> also to the, also to the, back to the discussion about Rarity not being fat. Maybe it's not really ice cream, maybe it's a souffle. After all, I have a, little, I have a lot of less fat than actual ice cream. Yeah. Either that, either that, or their ponies have such strong metabolism. Maybe, maybe and now I'm hungry. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe she like maybe she works too much to where the ice cream doesn't do much on her weight. Be, be, she is running a business after all, so she's probably busy all the time. So that could probably result in losing all that weight from all from all that ice cream, so it balances out. Fair enough. Well, to be. Well, to be honest, I could actually uh, I could actually support that idea since when I was actually working at McDonald's for one and a half years, I actually just eat, most of the time when I had had to work on that day, I actually have been only eating the stuff from McDonald's itself, and even then, I, w I wasn't even gaining a, a, a gram on me, right? Quite quite the opposite. I actually lost like two to three kilograms in that time. Hmm. Interesting. So. But, yeah. Could be a legitimate point. Yeah, let's get back on topic here. Uh, Yoshi, anything else in positives? Okay, well, if, okay, well, that was just a side note. But I think my real compliment has to go to, to the evil Rainbow Dash scene. <laughs> I mean, you cannot tell me that that was that was comedic genius right there. Only it, is it, it, is, it is cringy, but it's the good kind of cringy. No, that's the kind of thing that Pinkie Pie would think of, because you know how parents yeah, was would get sometimes. Yep. Very true. I'm, I, I kid you not, when when this episode would have aired one year ago, I'm pretty sure Tuna would have used that material for his uh, worst OC part in his LDH and Bronicon, I'm pretty <laughs> sure <about that. laughs> Well, there's still time for that until the uh, another... Yeah, con he will be at, and he will have the uh, his out of the edge. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Actually. Uh, anyways, uh, 
Anything else you want to add? No, that's pretty much it. Since you pretty much covered everything else. Uh, now for the <clears> negatives. <throat> Alright, I'm seeing as hell. I guess it's my turn again. Oh, yep. <laughs> We're going reverse. Okay. Well, if there really is one thing that I can say that kind of hinders this episode a bit, uh, it's definitely Rainbow Dash. Mm, I gotta admit, she wasn't really at her best. No, the problem is, is that <clears throat> it was her actions that kind of bothered me. I mean, she literally, I mean, all the, I mean, yeah, I mean, all the links that she goes to, to, you know, avoid tasting one of Pinky's pies, I will admit, while it is comical, it does kind of make her look like an asshole, too. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not the only one who actually shares this feeling. I've talked with several other people in like different reviews of this episode, and they've even said the same thing that Rainbow Dash's portrayal was not really that good in this episode. Yeah, no, yeah. But, no, it's not. It's not her best, but it's not her worst either. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, even Applejack pretty much. I mean, I mean what Applejack said towards like in the third act is like, oh, I didn't want her. I didn't want to hurt her feelings, but it's like, but yeah, you kind of did that. I mean, I'm actually glad Applejack was in this episode, because, to be honest, this was actually one of her better portrayals in the series. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit She's sad like, that Applejack is... She played the voice of reason in this episode, and I'm glad for it. I think that's what Applejack shines the best. Yeah, that it's sad true. that Applejack is shining as a secondary character of the episode instead of the uh, main uh, character. <clears throat> Honestly, I think <clears throat> the episode would have benefited if they included Applejack in the main cast instead of just putting her as a secondary for this episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree, I agree. Yeah, I mean, and as for Rainbow Dash, I mean, I get it. I mean, she doesn't like, but here's the thing. What happens is that when she ends up going this far, it, it makes her... It, it makes her character look like a, a complete dick. I mean, I'm sorry, it's like... I mean, I mean, I would have understood, like, if she was like, well, why was she trying to avoid the pies? It's like, was she trying to, like, feed them to Tank? Because I thought that that was, like, her original intention, was, like, maybe she was trying to find the right pie for Tank or something, or I don't know, That's that, that was the vibe that I got when I first watched the episode, but no. Yeah. It pretty much spoiled down to, yeah, I don't like your pies. You could you could you could have just been uh, yeah I I may not like your pies but um, I the reason I decided to get rid of them was because you know char charity like she did that one she, like she did that one time. True. What well, well at the very 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 least at least remember that she always he always she's given the pie to other people who would enjoy it. Exactly. At the very very least. It's not yeah. like she's throwing it away for nothing. Except except for the beginning, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I still other, want than to that, other than that. that pie. Mm -hmm. Other than that. Yeah, but I see where you're coming from. Yeah. I mean she gave it to the she gave it to she gave it to like the boys that really enjoyed it and everything. She gave it to like all to our other other people in town that seem to enjoy it. Outside of tank and throwing it in the trash can, I wish she put the pies to good use for the most part. Even, even though she didn't like them. Yeah. She still with the two pies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, else technically here, three, here? technically three pies. One was already inside yeah. tanks. One was eaten by tanks during the episode, and one was thrown in the in the trash. So technically three. Actually four, including the one that fell on Pinky. The, don't forget the don't forget the one. Oh, don't forget the end. Pinky don't forget pie. the end. Don't forget the pet. Okay, okay, we know what. Uh, maybe let's though. agree. She wasted too much, too many pies. Yeah, yeah, one pie is too many to waste. At least it's at not least... too many. At least it's not too many pinky pies. Damn it! Ah, very good, Venom. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you got anything else, Yoshi? Um. No. All right, Crimson. Have you got anything? Crimson, I think, said he has no yeah, negatives. No negatives. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, he said that. Alright, so, David. 
<clears throat> okay, uh, my negative for this episode. <clears throat> my negative is the pies. What really? a waste I... of pies. <laughs> yeah, Those especially that pies. rainbow one. Oh my god, I felt so sad for pies. If they had actual voices, I'd be like, oh, come here, pie. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, I'll, no. I'll, I'll eat you. Um, um, lemon let, meringue. Lemon meringue. All those flavored pies. You know the part where Pinkie Pie is on the Tower of Pies? Yeah. Yeah. And she tried to lure Rainbow Dash to rescue her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When they all fell down and they landed on Pinkie Pie, I was like, what a beautiful waste of pies. <laughs> and I had a tear in my eyes. And, of course, Pinkie Pie was mad. And she made all the, you know, explode with all the insides and the flavors. So I was like, oh, my God. So that was my negative. Just the pies were all wasted, <laughs> except for the, the ones that got eaten by the other fillies and the pony in the window. And egg. Not even my birthday. What a great <laughs> lesson for kids. Waste your food. Yeah, yeah. waste your food, every pony. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, um, but anyways, yeah, that's my negative. Just the pies were wasted in the whole episode. Uh, okay, so I'm up. So that's good because speaking of lessons that you guys mentioned, uh, <laughs> that is actually my main negative for this episode. It's the wall. Okay, it's not that it's bad or anything. It's not like dangerous or anything. Like, like so, it's not some point to watch over me or honest apple bad. But it's it's. <laughs> But the problem is, is that it's so generic. Yeah, very stock. I, I think the I think the best word to describe your complaint is a very stock moral. It, 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 really, it, really, it really is. And actually, I think that it could have had a better wall for both Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie to learn. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, Rainbow Dash can learn a lesson. Okay, you should always be honest with your friends and everything. And state your tastes and everything. I mean, Rainbow Dash did make that mistake twice in the same episode, but anyway. Yep. But Pinkie Pie could have learned something as well. Like, maybe P Rainbow Dash doesn't like pies because of the amount of times that Pinkie Pie keeps on giving it to her. And, you know, at, I mean, after all, if you, keep, if you keep consuming the same food for a certain amount of time, you'll eventually get sick of it. That, that's what happened with some of my family members with McDonald's. To be to be fair on that point, then it would be actually kind of like a repeating issue with the one with that one Pinkie Pie episode with um, Cranky. Mm, not, it would be too similar. Not, not <laughs> really. Yeah. Well, it might be, it might be a similar lesson, but it's a, it would be a different spin on it. Yeah, but the premise would be too similar. That's what still I mean. we still let's. On the other hand, we never got the uh, the moral of being honest with your friend. Oh wait, we did. Green is it your color? Yeah, uh, actually, 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 what I consider this episode is like it's it's telling the same message that we've seen in Green is not your color and bothering up your emotions, but it's doing it in a different way. All three of those episodes provide the same lessons, and they are similar, but it, at the same time, they're all different in little bits of ways. It's like going to the same destinations, but one way, but you can get there with, with by three different destinations. Like you, you can go straight, you can go left, and you can go right. All are different. Yeah, so that's yeah, how exactly. I see those three episodes. It's like they say, all the roads lead to Rome, it's fun day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but, but it actually makes my point even, uh, even more, more possible. Thanks, Kanata. No problem. So, so yeah, I, I do wish it would have had a much better message. I mean, again, it's not bad in this episode, it's just generic. Actually, I think I know why. Why it was like this. Why? And that would be? Well, it's a it's a bit of a theory that I've been discussing with some people, but it's got a lot of uh, evidence pointed towards it. But maybe that this episode was more targeted towards the very young audience as opposed to the usual fans of the show. Yeah, well, 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 people learn people learn lessons through different ways. So I guess they got to do different. They got to like, provide different ways of learning the same lessons for different people that that will, that may learn it a different way. Understandable. I I could actually agree on that. Yeah, it's understandable. I don't 
My theory is that it's just more of a filler episode. Yeah, I still found it generic, but I see your point. So, with that being said, I'll pass it off to Leon. Well then. Well, for me, I'm not sure if it's a legitimate negative or more like a personal nitpick, but for me it was actually the somewhat, well, forced stupidity on the characters for the sake of the plot. Mm. It was, it, it is actually kind of like what um, um, Yoshi actually was, have been talking about with um, Bermuda as being like a dick in this episode, or at least be portrayed as one, and let's face it, it is actually just like for the sake of the plot itself. Mm. There's no other real reason for it. And even the, um, the somewhat paranoia from Pinkie Pie was also forced in one way or another. I mean, okay, it had at least his comedic background to it with that um, imagination flashback, so to speak. But other than that, there was not really a big reason for it. Yeah, that, that's fair point. It, it doesn't go as far as character assassination, by far. It's uh -uh. not that bad, but it just, feel, it just feels out of place for me, at least. Hmm. I can see where you're coming from with that. Yeah, me too. And actually, it kind of fits in on the theory we just had with being um, this episode being targeted for a more young for the younger audience of the of, um, who watches the show instead of the regular um, fans, so to speak. Which, by the way, makes me begs a question: Who wrote this episode? Josh Hamilton. Josh Hamilton. Okay. Um, so it's how, more, how more did already. You, what did you want Does that again? really matter who oh, wrote he, it? He 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 wrote Parents of Gladiators and Triple Threat. Hmm. Well, if that would be someone new, we could un assume that, that person simply doesn't uh, know that well the uh, the show in its current state. But yeah, no, no, that's uh, that's yeah, someone who was already it's... in the staff. Yeah, yeah this is only his third episode. Yeah, and that's that's what I mean. It's it isn't as that bad, but it just bothers me personally because we kind of. When we talk, when, we, when you think about it, what we have been talking about right now was kind of like the um, repeated session of this, mm. and it only really just worked out because the characters have had been just like being stupid in terms of her of the character development so far. I, I, I see what you mean. And like I said, it's more like a personal nitpick, but it is not as bad as we have in certain other episodes. True. Uh, anything else want to say, Neon? Nah, that would be everything. Alright, uh, Violet? Okay. Um, remember earlier how Sharpwood said this episode is too similar to Party of One? Yeah. Well, except for one thing. The What's one thing. that? I think I know what it is. Say it. Do Pikamina? Yeah. You can cut it off there. Yeah, you know, it's the that's the funny thing, because I actually heard some people say the only reason that this episode was created was just so that the writers could create another party of one. Hmm. Yeah, but if they are gonna create another party of one, they forgot the one thing that makes everyone remember the episode. Pinkamina. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is I think that's actually what the high seat that would cause a riot in the town. But maybe like after she finally accepted the truth that Rainbow Dash doesn't like pies and anything, that's mm -hmm. when Pinky deflates and run back to Shuka Q Corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way when miss. Rainbow confronted Pinky with the really yucky pie. Her mane would still be flat, and only then her mane would poof up after the hug. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good point. Uh, if, if cancer, we'll also what... tell everyone that Pink Amina isn't evil. It's just Pinkie Pie when she's really, really sad. It's not, gonna, yeah. it's not, yeah. gonna, it's not gonna stop people from doing that, though. At least it would canonize the fact that Pink Amina is Pinkie's sad side. That is true. That is actually. Yeah, but on the other hand, come on, it's the fandom. 
Come on, it's the fandom. You just you need the uh, little bit of the uh, character interaction, and they already are shipping. And that's not the only thing. Even if that's for sadness, was, this isn't shipping. This is Pinkamina's Pinkamina's uh, identity in the fandom. I'm talking about. Yep. Yeah, we know, but the point still stands. All the points. But yeah, but I do agree with that. But it would have gave the episode a lot more impact. Yeah, they... it's, it is it is indeed a really missed opportunity. I have to give that to Violet. Yeah, it really was. I, and that's one of my biggest cries about the episode is that the virus. I think like the virus was just trying to play it safe. No, I not it had actually put Pinkamina back in there, at least for that bit where Pinky was being sad in between from when confronting with Rainbow to the point of the pies. Mm. Then that would actually make it a little bit better. Yeah, true. true. Can't, yeah, I can't come on with that. And you know what? It would have actually have been a better message for the episode altogether as well, maybe. Yeah, what a... Mm-hmm. Since Rainbow was there, and she saw herself what happened when Pinky had the straight name, she's completely neglecting their friendship and wants to mm -hmm. just be alone. Mm. So if Rainbow sees Pinky's name completely deflates, then she knew at that moment she really messed up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that is a really big opp missed opportunity on both sides, on both for Rainbow and uh, Pinkie Pie's development, to be honest. Yeah, it yeah. was. It really was. In fact, in fact, when I was watching the episode, I'm like, okay, this is actually going good. But during the part where Pinkie just ran off sad and all that because of Rainbow's, uh, because of Rainbow's honest opinion on Pie's, I was actually hoping at that moment at l her main deflate even a little, like at least to the Mod Pie level of deflating, if not Pingamina level. Hmm. I know what you mean. Come to think of it, I oh boy, it's 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 Dragon Crest all over again. Come to think of it, I haven't I haven't seen Pinkie Pie's main deflate even a little bit since season four. Uh, Looney, go right ahead. Uh, is it just me or does this episode feel like a rehash of 41? Like, Ask both legit episodes, what Chocolate said right at the start. Like, both episodes involve Pinkie Pie trying to share something with her friends. A party of one at your parties, and Secret of Pies at your pies. Both have Pinkie becoming slowly suspicious that something's going on behind her back and investigating. Both have Pinkie on the verge of insanity. Mm. Not, not Didn't flat, I because... said that this episode is actually the uh, continuity of Party of One in case of the uh, Pinky learning the lesson, so it's not quite the Party of One? Exactly what similar. I just said. That's what yeah, I mean. and, Blue, and Violet also just said that. Sorry. <laughs> I told Looney that's what you said at the very beginning of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, sorry, but it's my negative. <laughs> and the only difference is the ending. The party of one was a misunderstanding, and in this one, Rainbow Dash really does hate her pies. It just—it feels like the same thing we've already seen. Like it's except like for the, except for the yeah. plated pinky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except for that. Heck, both episodes even reference the Freddy secrets and lies. Uh -huh. That's actually true. Uh, else, that's it for my negative. Sharpwood? Okay, so... I can't shake off this feeling like... There is the uh, continuity error in this episode, as well as the uh, continuity callbacks. It's not, it's not... I can't just address... Oh no, wait, I can! The whole P Rainbow Dash not eating pies at all. Huh? Um... Uh, hello? Brother who social anyone? Yeah, she needs to oh, eat those pies. Right. I, I think she forced herself to eat it. She didn't like it, but she forced herself to eat it at that time. 
But oh. she didn't look like she's forcing herself to eat because come on, you can. We it's not that hard to animate some pony forcing her, himself or herself to eat something they don't like. And Rainbow didn't look like she doesn't like the pie she had to uh, or she had to fo force herself to eat this uh, um, particular pie during the Brotherhood Social. Oh, you know what's actually funny about that? Why? This actually this actually reminds me of a deviant art picture that I saw that was related to Honest Apple, where Applejack was literally stuffing apples inside of that that pony that liked the strawberries. He says, "You oh, are God, like, I know which one and you are about gonna it. like it." I saw I saw a few of those pictures, to be honest. <laughs> I think I think I know which one he's actually particularly talking about. I'm back. Yeah, me too. Alright, uh, where are we? At me saying that along with the uh, continuity callback, there's also the continuity error. Um, okay. With, uh, uh, with Rainbow Dash actually liking Pi. Um, actually, I have a counter argument with that. It was part of an event, so uh, she probably uh, had to eat the pie just for the sake of winning the competition. Yeah, but. I also addressed that by saying she doesn't look like she's forcing herself to eat that pie. Actually, she she kind of looked like she she likes that pie. Which episode was that? Brotherhood Social. Social. Mm -hmm. I've, the I've... one where, where Big Mac was talkative. Yeah. Yeah. The reason I say that is because I heard a lot of people uh, say the same thing, and I was like, well, she may have had to eat the pie during the competition, but that doesn't mean that she likes it. Besides, exactly. And besides, we've never seen her eat a pie. Once. Actually, that's actually the thing. I was trying to recall any um, cases when Rainbow Dash could eat a pie. But that's pretty much the only episode I could come up with on top of my head. Yeah, but you can argue with yeah, but even that one also, I don't think Rainbow Dash actually... We did actually see on screen Rainbow eating the pie. No. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it it doesn't mean that she has had to like the pie. She probably just had to eat it because she know that okay, she only did it so she could win the competition. Mm hmm yeah. Since it's part of just the like event. how Apple Bloom and Big Mac ate their pie. And we don't know how much Rainbow Dash loves to win. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So she had a reason behind that episode. Yeah. That that's my counter argument. Uh, still, yeah, it's debatable. it's debatable if whether or not she didn't, didn't like it. She was uh, just for the sake of winning the competition. Yeah, I understand where you're coming from. And besides, not always the um, the reasons ex mm, excuses the um, I'm uh, missing work. Actions. Yeah, pretty much. Thank you. <laughs> It's kind of hard to use and quote from our own language in English, right? <laughs> yes, translating some of these uh, phrases and saying to uh, English is really hard. Mm. Yeah, that's. And even if you can somehow can make them translate, they still sound sound sometimes awkward. Anyway, <laughs> you got anything else, Shopware? Nope. All right, Kinada. Okay, my negative for this episode is, at least in my opinion, Twilight kind of felt pointless in this episode. There was no reason for her to even be in this episode, at least in my opinion. I don't think she provides anything in this episode. Um, now I think about it, you're kind of right. Yeah. Applejack had the reason as a honest yeah. pony, but Twilight? Yeah. 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 In fact, yeah, the scenes I mean... with Twilight could easily be replaced with more AJ screen time. Exactly. Or exactly. AJ. Or more interactions between Pinky and Rainbow. Like, mm -hmm. how, like what you pointed out, Violet. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, 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 go on. I was like, wait a second. Okay, so, a uh, plot space similar to a past episode. Uh, Pinky having the anger breakdown, so to speak. Twi and it focuses on Rainbow Dash, sort of. And Twilight being pointless in an episode. I'll be back in season. I'll be back in season one. 
<laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just crazy how, it's just crazy how Twilight was added in this episode for like no reason at all, and yet the one character who I think a lot of us thought might be, might play a part of it, Soren, played, uh, has played no part in this episode. It's crazy how the one character that did nothing is in this episode, and the in the one character that could have done something is not in this episode. Not to mention, man, uh, that was the perfect opportunity to canonize Soren as a pie-loving pony. Exactly. <laughs> for crying out loud, you're right. Yeah. This mean it, it mean this was a perfect setup for Soren to be in this episode. Why didn't they take it? Well, They've canonized Derpy as a muffin lover. Yeah. Oh, so the, the same with Soren. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know that would it would have been legitimately a good point actually. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Embrace the <laughs> fandom. <laughs> I guess we can say this episode is basically a missed opportunity. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah, they, they, really dropped, was. they dropped they they dropped the ball in several areas in this episode. Yeah, they really did. Yeah. Well, That's pretty much our negative. Alright, well we'll move on to our ratings. So Kinana, what would you give the episode? I'm gonna give the episode a three out of five. Alright. Three out of five it is. There you get the right one. There we go. So I put a bit of a delay. So, <clears throat> shop with. Also, three out of five. It's hard to find uh, much positives about this episode. However, it's also hard to find the uh, legit negatives to make this a really bad episode. It's probably still one of the weakest, but come on, nothing can beat Honest Apple in this case. Luckily, at least I didn't jinx that one. <laughs> well, 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 to be fair, we've gotten a lot of amazing development episodes throughout the season. So this episode felt like a small filler episode to just relax, you know? We all need those kind of episodes to just slow down everything, stop, you know, you know, take a small breather away from all the development we've been getting this season. So I get it. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I, I agree. The best way to describe the episode yeah. in a nutshell is a filler episode. Yeah, it kind of was. Um, yeah, it, but it feels too much as a filler in this uh, so fast-running uh, season, let's so to speak. At least it's not... Yeah, it felt like season one filler. At least it was a cutie pox bad. No yeah. boy. But still, <laughs> I'm lucky. I think still, I'm I'm happy that I'm I tend to jinx the good episode, but not bad episode. Looney. <laughs> Uh, three out of five. I think that feels like party of one two point oh. It's really ratchet down for me. Well, I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Violet. Two and a half. Too much missed opportunity. This episode is. Hmm. Yeah, I bet you're still this sore. Like... Yeah, I bet you're still sore, but I don't think you mean a thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I can't blame her on that one. Yeah. yeah. I can't either. And yeah, I do agree there was a missed opportunity there. I will admit that. This really does, this really does feel like, feels like a diet version of Party of One. Yeah. Or rather, a little improved version of Party of One. It's, 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 it's less... It's less <sighs> it doesn't leave a skull like Party of One. If that's what you want want to say, right? Yeah. Well, for me, I actually give it a three point five out of five. It it wasn't the best, but still, I like the the comedy and everything. And even though there were were a lot of uh, missed opportunities, I still enjoyed the episode altogether. Hmm. Alrighty, sounds good. Um, as for me. I would also give the episode a three and a half. I mean, there was a lot of things I could like about this episode. Like, I love Pinkie Pie in this episode altogether. The comedy was really good. Um, and did I, did we even mention, there was one of the positives that we forgot to mention. I know what that is. Spitfire actually delivered a compliment. 
A what? Uh, <laughs> didn't she didn't she do that in the in the um in the episode before they went for Rainbow Lies Paris? Yeah. Was it that was Fleetfoot. That was Fleetfoot. That was Fleetfoot, not Spitfire. Oh shoot, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Spitfire actually delivered a compliment. That that is something we've never seen before. Good point, Yay! Slow clap because I'm still so salty about newbie dash. So that one compliment <laughs> is not enough for me to redeem her. <laughs> oh, 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 that's not the. Oh, that's trust me, Shopper. That's not the only hiccup Spitfire has. <laughs> Rainbow Falls. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Right, you're right. So, even slower clap. <laughs> Can we move on? Well, actually, yeah, 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 actually it... I'm actually more salty about about uh, Rainbow Falls than Newbie Dash, to be honest. Uh, me too. But anyway, yeah, but the downside is that Rainbow Dash wasn't really at her best. She's not, got, she's not awful or anything, but it's probably not her best. And, oh, come uh, on, we've seen the episodes that are closer to the uh, character assassination. Yeah, I know. And yeah, that's true. Not, yeah. to, not to mention the contradictory to the message in the beginning of the episode. The ball was very generic, and yeah, that, that's about it for me. It was just a bad episode. Mm. Uh, David? Uh, okay, my rating for this episode was 3 out of 5. Most with all of you guys, I guess. Um, you know, it had its moments of the comedy, um, but Pinkie Pie was really good in this episode, especially with her expressions. Um, and uh, I wasn't really happy with Rainbow Dash as much, now that I think of it, because of her lesson that she had to learn in the end. Okay. Never waste food. Yeah. Yeah, never waste food. <laughs> yeah. Every good cook will, would kill you for that, for wasting food. Oh, yeah, God. don't waste food. Yeah, especially, yeah that's true. Especially don't waste food in front of Gordon Ramsay. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kanana. I was about to say that if you would do it uh, in front of Gordon Ramsay, he would roast you. Quite literally. <laughs> Not oh, very much. I just uh, imagined that. Oh my god. Yeah. That, okay. All right, all right. That was really good. I love yeah, that. Yeah, that was good. I love it. Crimson? Oh god, I just, I just pictured that in my mind right now. Fuck! <laughs> Not the first time when someone used Gordon Ramsay in term... in... When, when it comes to some episode. Oh my gosh. Right. Crimson? Uh, Crimson gave me three, 3 out of 5. Okay, 3 out of 5? Alright. Thanks, thanks for that. Is he still away? <laughs> yep, three, 3 out of 5 for Crimson. Uh, Yoshi? Okay, so, final thoughts? In my opinion, Secrets and Pies is one of the bottom 5 for me for this, for this season. But, the thing is, kind of similar to Season 4, it's actually kind of hard to see what are the actual worst episodes of season seven considering the fact that we've only had one episode in the entire season that's been actually which is uh you know presumably bad you know by the whole community looking yeah. at you on a staff that's something i also noticed that we have the uh, f we can point probably some five bottom episodes but the only one of them that is truly bad that wait that is only one of the no, 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 you're right. You're right. Sharp voice. You're right. Really bad. <laughs> oh, wait. No. You were right. Among four, five of those episodes, only one is truly bad. Yeah. Yeah. The rest are rather weaker or just uh, not our taste. True. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of similar to why some people think that season four was, well, so, well, before season seven came along, was the best season of the entire series. It was literally because, well, when you were looking for the bottom five, there were only three episodes with one being debatable of which were the worst. And, you know, those were being Some Pony to Watch Over Me, Rainbow Falls, That's two. and then whatever. I, I, I'm, I'm, I can't remember the third one. Actually, it's just those two. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like that. 
Well, yeah, but so that already makes season seven much better because there is only one episode that is uh, legit, legit, legit. Well, it's kind. Of, well, uh, yeah, actually, no, actually, you can go and make that claim, considering that. Well. Well, you'll know why soon. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you're ready. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then. So anyway, as I was trying to say, so it is one of the bottom five for me, but it's actually more like number five, kind of like how you. Kind of like what you showed me with with your list that was it's in progress so far. Yeah. Yeah, because I know you told me you put you put this episode at number five at the bottom. Mhm. Mm yeah. So. Yeah, it's a decent. It's an episode, yeah, but it, it's a decent episode, but it doesn't quite hit the mark that it could have potentially hit. Yeah. So if I, may, if I may ask, out of curiosity, in for both of you. Is that the uh, solid number five, or that's the number five, but close to the uh, honor dishonorable mention? Uh, I think, I believe he said bottom five, like, not di not dishonorable mention. I think he said, yeah, I think, like, I when he showed me the list, I believe it was, like, on the top five worst. Yeah. But anyways. Hmm. So, yep, so, anyway, the episode is good, but it's not that good. It really did miss its mark with a lot of, with a lot of things in the episode, where, you know, ranging from Rainbow Dash's character and stock moral to the obvious similarities between Party of One. So, I'm gonna have to give this episode a three and a half out of five. Hmm. Okay, interesting. And keep in mind, it was not easy deciding whether I'd give it a free or a free and a half. Oh, I, oh, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that, yeah. Alright, and I think... Oh, with Violet, uh, two and a half? Yeah, I believe I, we know already what the final rating is. Wait, who gave it a two and a half? Violet did. Me? That was oh, yeah. I think there was, some, there was that someone else that gave it a two and a half. Considering your feelings towards Party of One, I can understand that. Are you sure? I could have sworn someone else gave it a two and a half uh, alongside you. No. I, oh. I did okay. give it 3.5. Right. Oh, That's the right. highest we've gone. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I think we've worked with the pattern here. So, to no surprise, the overall group rating for Secrets and Pies is a three out of five. What's a twist? What was it? Three, three out of five. Huh. So basically it boils down to an episode that's rather okay in the eyes of uh, everyone here. Yeah, it's yeah. Very, it's very middle of the road. It had, it had, it this was as easy as pie. Yeah. yeah. It, had, it had its good moments, but it also had its bad moments. Yeah. Yeah, it did. You can't really do much about those episodes that have, like, you're at the standing in the middle of it. Yeah. Yep, yeah, but that's, that's about... Good. Oh. Yeah, but that's about all for today, folks. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, tune in next time, where we cover... The season cover. finale. Mm. Finale. The finale, and everybody. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. and then after that, Hello. it's back to random the episodes. The season is at the... Seasons at the end. The horror! The horror! Anyway, somebody yeah. need the pie. <laughs> but, but, anyway, but anyway, yeah, the next episode we'll be covering will be the season finale. And judging from the synopsis, I am super duper hyped. This, this finale is going to be amazing. It's going to be epic. So, yeah. No, no, you, how she should say it's, it's gonna be EPIC! That's how you should do it. Like, I'm that, just... but I probably would've broke the microphone. Anyway, so... Uh, EPIC! Anyway. I'm just glad you didn't go with, it's going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, anyways, um, I'll see you all next time. Peace. Bye, see ya. So long, bye. 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 Don't forget to eat pie. Sign our and keep an eye out for those stars, it'll make you And make sure you eat those darn pies!